Oh my god guys, I was at Whole Foods and this produce boy was so cute. Oh my god, it got me so worked up. I just had to come home and make my favorite indulgence. We're gonna do a vegan bacon, egg, and cheese. Guys, I would have made so much money if I was vegan. Forget 60k subscribers, we would have been at like 6 million right now. Uh, so, so I thought it would be fun to get a couple of vegan foods and try them out. And I was sitting here looking at the vegan foods I initially bought. So I had some vegan butter, some vegan bacon, some vegan cheese. I, I know, like, a, like what's going on? Like, do vegans actually want to eat vegetables or do they want to eat meat? I also had some uh, tofurkey and some Beyond Sausage. But looking at the cheese, the butter, and the bacon, I was like, man, we should do a bacon, egg, and cheese. So I went back to Whole Foods to spend even more money. Of course, they had some fake egg nonsense. And we bought the classic New York bagel. Guys, when I was in uh, community college, I would go to this deli like every morning and get uh, bacon, egg, and cheese with ketchup, salt, and pepper on a roll. It was like my favorite thing in the world. Uh, which I no longer have due to my dietary restrictions. So this is going to answer, is this vegan nonsense anything close to the actual animal product? And if we combine all of this Franken laboratory food, does it make it palatable? Guys, I haven't had a bagel in like 10 years. And I'm not going to be able to swallow this, but bagel is just going to go in the toaster. I don't think I've used a toaster in 10 years either. Miyoko's cultured vegan butter made from plants. This was like $8. It hurt me inside. It's like twice the price of regular butter. Oh, this looks horrible. Oh, <laughs> I thought this was gonna be reasonable. <laughs> uh, what is it? Oh man, what, you know what it smells like? It almost smells like, um. It smells like lacto, like the, the cultures that are in um, some certain probiotics I've taken in the past. Oh man, that's kind of gross. So this is mostly coconut oil, water, sunflower oil, organic cashews, organic sunflower lecithin, sea salt, and cultures. So relatively low amount of ingredients. Um, so by cultures, they mean certain uh, bacteria that are found in dairy. Oh, it smells even worse when it's melting. We got some smart bacon, plant-based bacon, made from water, soy protein, isolate, vital wheat, gluten, soybean oil, soy protein concentrate. This is about as inflammatory and as poisonous a food can get. High omega-6, incredibly inflammatory, estrogenic properties of soy, literally cannot get worse than this for you. Unless you added a bunch of sugar to it, actually. Which vegans probably do. I feel bad, like somewhere there's some sad middle-aged person in their kitchen cooking up this garbage thinking they're healthy. I don't have that good of a sense of smell, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't smell like meat at all. It has, um, because meat, meat actually has like proteins that are bound together, like something normal. This stuff is, is just mushed together. It's like a plant-based mush that they try to form into sh the shape of bacon. Now we get to oxidize our soy and vegetable oils. It's ironic they think vegan is going good for your heart, yet vegetable oils are the worst thing for your heart. Uh, this fake bacon did brown up a little bit. It's darker than the original color, and it is absorbing some of this fake butter as well. I think that's enough. Got my bacon on the side here. Uh, we're gonna put the Beyond Sausages in the pan uh, while we discuss the other ingredients. And our bagel is done. Might as well assemble, right? So of course I'm gonna spread some of this butter on the bagel. You know, I have a feeling this is gonna be like all other vegan recipes, where everything on its own tastes like poison, yet when you combine it, it actually works. The cheese actually smells like cheddar. I'm assuming it's because the enzyme used to make cheddar cheese is vegetarian and they're able to actually just use it in this. Oh, we forgot the eggs. Let's make the eggs too. So this is just egg, water, mung bean protein isolate, expeller pressed canola oil, and then a bunch of about two dozen additives and flavors that 
apparently are gonna make this taste like egg. Now I wanna start tasting these ingredients on their own. So first we have the bacon, which was the water, the soy protein isolate, the soybean oil, and then about 12 ingredients uh, that are additives, flavorings, all that type of stuff. And this was fried in the vegan butter. It's not horrible. It tastes like bread. You actually taste the wheat. Doesn't taste like meat. Uh, so the cheese is Daya deliciously dairy-free medium cheddar style. Filtered water, tapioca starch, coconut oil, vegan, natural flavors, pea protein isolate, a uh, bunch of additives, a bunch of flavorings. Is this super inflammatory? Not really. Is there anything good for you in this? No. Possibly mild inflammatory from all the additives, but it's not horrible for you. Just doesn't have the nutrients that cheese normally does. You know, high quality raw cheese is full of fat soluble vitamins. It smells like fake cheese. Like, like, it smells like a fake shitty cheddar. The culture tastes like cheddar cheese. I don't know what they're doing in these laboratories, but these scientists are like 70% of the way there. It tastes a little like cheddar. The texture isn't just there, but if you've gone two years without eating cheese, like, they'll probably like this. I'm burning my vegan butter. So overall, the initial flavor is like 60% of the way there to cheddar but the texture is nothing like cheese. You know, it kind of just crumbles apart in your mouth as opposed to having a chew and like a mouth coating feel that cheese does. So I poured the fake eggs in the pan and they came together and cooked in like 10 seconds flat. Uh, you know, kind of weird. End product looks like eggs. Uh, we still never tasted the butter. I guess we might as well try that now. Uh, again, coconut oil, water, sunflower oil, cashews and cultures. I don't really anticipate this to taste too good. Tastes like sour cream. I mean, it, it tastes a little like shitty sour cream. Uh, I guess that's the culture they use, but it doesn't, doesn't really taste anything like butter. So far, nothing's really tasted that horrible on its own. I, I'd say these vegan products are, you know, 60 to 70% of what the actual meat product is. I could see why these people last on a vegan diet. Even though they're starving themselves, the food doesn't taste half bad. It's amazing what 25 chemicals in a food can make it taste like. So this smells like some type of vegetation. Uh, I guess that's because there's mung beans in this. Uh, canola oil and you know various spices, flavorings, ingredients. I'm gonna try this on its own. That's bad. It, it tastes like pureed mung beans. With some spices added. It's not good. <laughs> not good. I can't believe that they make so much money off this garbage. It's ridiculous. Now I'm going to have the cooked eggs that were sauteed in the butter. Oh God. It's like warm, it's hot, it has the texture of eggs. It looks like eggs, but it doesn't taste like eggs. Does it taste bad? It doesn't taste good. So butter was okay, bacon wasn't bad, eggs not too good, cheddar wasn't horrendous. So I guess let's assemble our sandwich. So we got our bacon on here. Load that up, because we know vegans love bacon. So I'm gonna put this under the broiler in my oven and see if this cheese melts. I don't know if it's going to. So we have a couple other things to try. We have the Beyond Sausage and some Tofurky. This has very similar ingredients to uh, Impossible, except they don't have that heme. Um, I guess they didn't figure it out. You know, water, pea protein isolate, coconut oil, sunflower oil, not good for you at best. These products are like inflammatory bean-based protein powders, uh, in addition to vegetable seed oils that tend to be high in omega-6, and plus the 15 additives, definitely not good for you. So the sausage got really crispy in the pan. I wish I had a better sense of smell. Uh, to me, this just smells like turmeric. It's not bad, but 
It's just like spices. You just taste spices. I, I don't know what's in this sausage, but there's so many spices in this that my mouth is literally burning. We should try it raw. So I see what they did here. This is Italian sausage. And normally, you know, sausage being made with pork, very low quality meat. It's just like flavorless meat with a ton of spices. And this is flavorless vegetable protein with a ton of spices. I mean, it tastes the same raw. You know, it's kind of sad how our meat quality is so shitty that they're able to get, you know, 60, 70% of the way there with these products. But if you compare this to like a high quality pasture raised pork sausage with, it's not even close. And the point here isn't really the taste. Yeah, they might be able to replicate 60 to 70% of the taste, but all the fat type of vitamins are missing, all the bioavailable protein is missing, all the minerals, the elements, the fatty acids are missing. Uh, last, we have the tofurkey, water, vital wheat gluten, organic tofu, soy sauce, inflammatory omega-6, very inflammatory gluten, expeller pressed canola oil, high omega-6, you know, 15 additives. This stuff is so inflammatory. I understand why all these vegans have like super inflamed faces unless they're on some raw fruit boy diet. Saturated fat and cholesterol cause heart disease, but I flew in 15 different grains from all around the world and I got my Chinese friend Wang to synthesize 40 chemicals in a laboratory. So I have something that tastes 63.7% of what it's supposed to taste like without the nutrients. This looks like some type of uh, slop experiment. How unappetizing does that look? <laughs> it's slimy. It looks gross. The color is off. Tofurky, how do you guys get away with this shit? It smells like chemicals. How the... Listen, if I put this in my mouth and close my eyes, how fucking crazy, how fucking crazy is it they're making tofurkey, plant-based deli slices? It's deli meat. They're making vegan deli meat. All right, I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna pretend I don't know what this is. So I'm blindfolded. What do you smell, Frank? I don't smell turkey. I don't have a good enough sense of smell to distinguish what this is. So let's taste it. It tastes like turkey that was sprayed with chemicals. This is, I'm, I don't know what the fuck they're doing in these laboratories, man. It's close. If you haven't eaten this garbage before, it's very possible that you could fool someone with it, especially if the person hasn't eaten truly high quality animal foods. I'm starting to see why, uh, why these vegans are going where they're going. All right, so we broiled the cheese and does not have the chemical properties of actual cheese. So uh, we'll just let this cool off for a minute. For any of you guys thinking, Frank, you're wasting food. What? At, at least there's a possibility that one person doesn't eat this shit. Plus, I'm sure the candida demon growing at the garbage dump is hungry. Hey, welcome to Frankie's Vegan Cafe. I guarantee you there's some vegan girl in New York that would come to my house and rail me for this right now. I guarantee it. I'd probably rail me for this, just to see what it tastes like. Hey, look at that. Not bad. It was like the biggest waste of $30 of my life. <laughs> it's hot. It's on a bagel. It tastes a little like cheese. The eggs are the problem. Doesn't taste anything like eggs. Nothing like eggs at all. Overall, I would say that the individual ingredients on their own might have come close in some regards, but since the eggs were so far off of what eggs taste like, and you know, eggs are the main part of a bacon, egg, and cheese, it doesn't taste good. If you were vegan and you tasted this, you'd probably nut your pants. But as someone who's tasted an actual bacon, egg, and cheese before, and as someone who knows how poisonous the ingredients in this are, 
and it costs three times as much. God knows how many laboratories are needed to make this. It's a no brainer. Guys, pl guys, please like the video. Please share the video. I don't know why I do this stuff. I really don't. I got a mess in my kitchen. My bank account's $40 less. All right, now that I rinsed my mouth out with bleach, that cheddar cheese is, is I think what's fooling most people. If you put that on a sandwich, whatever culture they're using to make that cheddar, it actually tastes a lot like cheddar cheese. I'd say the flavor of the cheddar is like 80% of what a cheddar cheese is. Even if the texture is nothing like what it was, it kind of carries the rest of it. Of course, a bagel is a bagel. The eggs are just a textural component. It, they taste nothing like eggs. They don't taste good in any way whatsoever. And the bacon wasn't good, wasn't bad. Uh, overall, I'm very amazed at how they're able to make these processed foods into something that even remotely resembles a bacon, egg, and cheese. The fact that I don't think that tasted bad in general, yet it's complete poison, processed shit, I don't know what to say. Bravo to these people poisoning the planet. Yeah, I, I sit here thinking that these vegans are eating shit and slop, and they are. Except it doesn't actually taste too bad in comparison to what other people are eating, especially on a standard American diet. I think this sets the stage for us making a healthy bacon, egg, and cheese, perhaps with heirloom grains, pasture-raised bacon that I've made myself, some high-quality pasture-raised eggs, raw cheddar cheese, and I'm gonna have an actual orgasm. Uh, so, guys, like the video. If this video does really well, I'll make that healthy bacon, egg, and cheese. If not, hey, tough luck. I guess, ironically, I'd probably spend the same amount of money on both, and the latter would be actually good for you. Thank you guys for joining me. If you could please like the video, subscribe, definitely hit that bell icon, share the video if you can. If you guys do want to support me further, check out Frankie's Free Range Meat. We have high quality raw grass fed cheddar. You know, we're looking to do pasture raised eggs sometime next year. Hey, we're even doing healthy cookies next month as a special for you guys. Perhaps we'll do healthy bagels some point in the future. Uh, so, you know, the more we grow, the more we're gonna try to do and get you guys the healthy foods you don't have access to. Uh, you guys can also go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. If you'd like to reach out to me, for my secret vegan recipes, send me an email, frankatofano at gmail.com. Thanks again for joining me, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Fucking poison. Can't believe I did this shit. Should've gone to White Castle and bought that impossible shit.